Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 15th of February, 2012. I hope everybody out there had a good Valentine's Day. But out here in the Western Pacific, we are watching an active area of low pressure that's being announced by Bagasa just towards the east of the Philippines. This is actually starting to spin up here and get a little bit of circulation with it. It's all associated with that increase in the MJO, MJO we've been talking about the last several days. And also associated with that upward vertical motion, we've also have been continuously seeing and have been seeing actually some prints out here across much of Mindanao and Visayas and also off towards the north do have a stationary boundary actually extending from China over towards Japan where you actually have been seeing some rain showers on and off throughout the day today from basically out here across much of Honshu down towards the south across much of Kyushu and even out towards South Korea and actually later on today we're actually going to be seeing some snow starting to kick up in Hokkaido as well. So if we pull up actually the 24 hour outlook here from JMA we are seeing those snow showers kicking up across much of Hokkaido associated with an area of low pressure spinning up there you do have that stationary boundary extending Extending all the way from eastern China across here south of Japan here you got some fog associated with that here all the way down towards the south China and east China seas that's actually a that crack and we've been talking about here that's associated with the cold air running over that warmer surface down in here across this entire region that was often produces the fog across that entire area this time of year and we also have that area of low pressure you do see a little bit of troughing here across the Philippines not really depicted very greatly here but if we pull back and we look at the south satellite imagery coming out of the Philippines right now. You can see all of this cloud cover here just towards the east of Asais and Mindanao. So this is all associated with some of that upward vertical motion we've been talking about here. And if we pull up the verticity chart, see all these areas here just toward the east of Mindanao indicated in the yellow. Now that means that up motion further enhancing the thunderstorms out here. So that's also going to allow for even more rain showers. And actually some of these locations here on Samar extending down towards Mindanao, seeing upwards of 150 to even 200 millimeters of rainfall in the past 24 hours. That's mainly along the eastern slopes of the mountains in this area. But let's also look at the wind shear map here. And it's something I like to use as far as the tropical weather. And you can see about 50, actually 10 to 15 knots in some of these areas where this convection is blowing up here today. So that's also allowing for further development. Now, what do I think as far as it's developing into a tropical depression or even further? Well, right now, model guidance kind of on further development of this. I think it's a little bit too late in the season as well. You out here in the Western Pacific, any time of the year, you can have a tropical depression. So if something does develop with this system, I think that it is going to be max intensity, a weak tropical depression. I would be completely surprised if this develops any further up to a tropical storm intensity. But regardless, that would be the winds coming out of this. The main threat of this system is going to be the rainfall over the next 24 to 48 hours. And if we look at the initialization of this system here on Tuesday, you have those rain showers here just towards the east of the Philippines, that area of low pressure running away from Japan. So we know that this model is at least starting off somewhat accurate here. If we go off towards the next several days, on Wednesday into Thursday, you start to see that rain shower is continuing to kick up here across the Philippines associated with that area of low pressure. But watch this out here until the weekend as that low runs across the country and gets off towards the South China Sea. You start to see the spin up and actually develops here in the South China Sea just towards the west of the Spratly Islands. So with that being said, there is a potential of a tropical system developing. Like I'm saying, I would be surprised if it gets any stronger than a tropical depression. But the main threat with this, as that continues to linger in this entire area here, it's going to be drawing in moisture across this entire region. Therefore, expect some very heavy rainfalls, the potential for flash flooding, and even the potential for mudslides out here across the Philippines in the next several days as this area continues to persist. But for the time being, let's look at some of the temperatures out here. Actually, in Tokyo today, a little bit warmer than average, seeing a high of 12 degrees over the next 24 hours. Looking at zero on Seoul. Once you get off there towards the west, still very cold as it's up here and high continues to push in. Looking at negative 5 out there in western China, but let's look at this warmer air as you get a little bit farther down towards the south, down there at 21 in Hong Kong. Looking at the mid-30s across much of Indochina, so still very tropical down there towards the south. But that is all for right now, everybody going to leave you here with this imagery actually coming out of Madagascar way off here towards the western side of the Indian Ocean but this island is really getting pounded here over the past 24 hours from this tropical cyclone out there right now so definitely a very dangerous situation going on out across that entire region actually check in at 28 cyclones or excuse me 28 storms.com and he does have some continuous updates going on on this tropical system but if you have any questions comments or suggestions please post them in the comment box below and as always Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a great day.